Hello and welcome to Planet News. Here you will find everything new and exclusive. We hope you will join us by pressing subscribe and then like the video. Could you clarify your comments about injections of disinfectant? No, I was asking a question sarcastically to reporters like you, just to see what would happen. Now, disinfectant for doing this, maybe on the hands, would work. And I was asking the question of the gentleman who was there yesterday, Bill, because when they say that something will last three or four hours or six hours, but if the sun is out or if they use disinfectant, it goes away in less than a minute. Did you hear about this yesterday? But I was asking a sarcastic and a very sarcastic question to the reporters in the room about disinfectant on the inside. But it does kill it, and it would kill it on the hands, and that would make things much better. That was done in the form of a sarcastic question to the reporters. So you were okay. asking your medical experts to look into it? Uh, you no, 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 no. Them? To look into whether or not sun and disinfectant on the hands, but whether or not sun can help us because I mean, he came in yesterday and he said they've done a big study. This is a study. This isn't where he hasn't done it. This is where they've come in with a final report that sun has a massive impact negatively on this fiber. In other words, it does not live well with humidity and it doesn't live well with sun, sunlight, heat. It doesn't live well with heat and sun and disinfectant. And that's what I brought out. And I thought it was clear. Okay, anything else? What you just heard is the President of the United States just lying right there. It's fascinating because he's lying about something that we all witnessed just yesterday of him talking to his own coronavirus task force about doing research into injecting bleach disinfectants into people, somehow cleaning them from the inside because disinfectant works on tabletops and things like that. And now the president is claiming he was speaking sarcastically to reporters, sarcastically suggesting that there was no sarcasm. Let's just play what happened yesterday in case you didn't see it. So I asked Bill a question that probably some of you are thinking of if you're totally into that world, which I find to be very interesting. So supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. And I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. We'll the right, folks who could. right. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or or almost a cleaning, because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds it sounds interesting to me. So we'll see. But the whole concept of the light, the way it kills it in one minute, that's uh, that's pretty powerful. Mr. President, after the presentation we just saw about the heat and the humidity, is it dangerous for you to make people think they would be safe by going outside in the heat? considering that so many people are dying in Florida, considering that this virus has yeah. had an outbreak in Singapore, places that are yeah, hot here, and here are good. Here we go. Here we go. The new, the new headline is Trump asks people to go outside. That's dangerous. Here we go. Same old group. Uh, you ready? I hope people enjoy the sun. And if it has an impact, that's great. I'm just hearing this, not really for the first time. I mean, there's been a rumor that you know, a very nice rumor that you go outside in the sun or you have heat and it does have an effect on other viruses. But now we get it from one of the great laboratories of the world, I have to say. It covers a lot more territory than just this. This is, this is probably an easy thing, relatively speaking, for you. I would like you to speak to the medical doctors to see if there's any way that you can apply light and heat to cure. You know, that if you could, and maybe you can, maybe you can't. Again, I say maybe you can, maybe you can't. I'm not a doctor, but I'm like a person that has a good, you know what. But, sir, uh, you're the president. Deborah, have you ever heard of that? Uh, the uh, heat and the light relative to certain viruses, yes, but relative to this virus? That is a treatment 
I mean, certainly fever yeah. is a good thing when you have a fever. It helps your body respond. Mm -hmm. But not as I've not seen heat or light. I, I think it's a great thing to look at. I mean, you know. Okay. Respectfully, sir, you're the president, and people tuning into these briefings, they want to get information and guidance and want to know what to do. They're hey, not looking for up, rumors. I'm the president, and you're fake news. And you know what I'll say to you? I'll say very nicely, I know you well. I know you well, because I know the guy. I see what he writes. He's a total faker. So are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's just a suggestion from a brilliant lab by a very, very smart, perhaps brilliant man. He's talking about sun. He's talking about heat. And you see the numbers. So that's it. That's all I have. I'm just here to present talent. I'm here to present ideas because we want ideas to get rid of this thing. And if heat is good, and if sunlight is good, that's a great thing as far as I'm concerned. You like the video, I share it in the channel, and you share the video with your friends, it is more support for us to develop from ourselves always. Thank you.